Okay, so with the uh, Satis uh, first time use, we're just going to fill the uh, water, water canister up at the back. Uh, the milk goes in here for milk pro uh, frothing. The uh, pods go in the top there. Uh, there's a button over here for small espresso, button here for large espresso. Uh, that little stand goes up. If you've got a tall glass, down for a short glass. Uh, water catchment is in the bottom here. So any spillage will go into there. And uh, also under here is a neat little storage compartment for uh, two optional whisks for the milk. So if you want to be making cappuccino or whatever. So, um, so yeah, we'll uh, pop that back there. Go ahead with uh, filling up the water canister, just lid, just pops on the back there, and we'll just turn it on there. So the two flashing lights here at the moment just means the uh, machine is warming up at the moment. Okay, so they're solid now, so before our first use, uh, it says to do this six times. select an espresso size rather than a longer size. So we'll go ahead and push that button. Now we're going to test the uh, milk proper, which is just here. So what we need to do is attach one of these two whisks to it. Uh, one is for uh, cafe lattes uh, sort of texture and the other is more for a uh, cappuccino or a, a latte macchiato. So you can just see that they magnetically clip on there, pretty fancy actually. And then there's uh, two levels for the milk. A uh, uh, smaller level for, uh, for cappuccino and a uh, large level for latte. We'll just fill this up with some milk here. Place that on the top. It and if you hold it down for two seconds, it will uh, it will just froth the milk without heating it. For, uh, same thing, milkshakes. So there we go. So we can see it's red. And um, if we actually move the camera around. I might actually be able to see it doing its thing in there. Just finished. I'm just going to sit that there. Oh, not trying to make it pretty or anything here. Made one one full latte. 
if I can do better next time. So that was uh, simply a standard size espresso and, uh, and milk up to the top of the line. And that's made one tall glass there. If I had it done a uh, lungo, I probably would have gone over the top of the glass. The machine can stay on and after uh, half an hour by default. We'll uh, go into a standby state where these lights will begin flashing uh, and to wake it up from its standby state you just push one of these buttons um, and it will start heating itself up again for the next coffee. Uh, you can change that standby to um, 60 minutes as well or turn it off completely. So there you have it, the uh, Satisse and Milk Frother from DeLonghi. Okay so with the uh, Satisse uh, first time use we're just going to fill the uh, water you want a canister up at the back, uh, the milk goes in here for milk pro uh, frothing. The uh, pods go in the top there. Uh, there's a button over here for small espresso, on here for large espresso. Uh, that little stand goes up. If you've got a tall glass, down for a short glass. Uh, water catchment is in the bottom here. So any spillage will go into there. 